Hi everybody, I wanted to give you an update on where we're at at the Granite Group and kind of how we're responding to this current environment so you could hear from us why we're doing what we're doing and how we're trying to service you. Um, things have changed daily and by the minute and by the hour, unlike ever before, but we've responded daily. Um, so some of the things I want to highlight that we've done, we have an internal group, a virus response team made of myself and Chris um, and a few others that are meeting daily to how we respond to this. We opened up an email address internally, the virus response at the Granite Group, where all of our people can at any moment email and get an answer to their question, or they all have my cell phone where they can respond. A lot of you guys do too, and if you have questions, some of you already have reached out to me, by all means continue to do it. I don't know if I have the answers, but I'm happy to talk with you about what we're doing. Um, we continue to put our travel policy in place. We're trying to keep our OSRs, our, our sales reps kind of grounded. So I'm sure you're hearing from a lot of them via text and phone calls, trying to help you out and get you what you need. Um, our counters as of now remain busy. Um, our supply chains are good. Uh, we see no disruption there yet. Uh, that could have everything changed, but things seem good there now. Um, and generally we're busy. You guys are doing your day-to-day -day work. Um, certain pockets are not, certain pockets are. That will continue to be the case. Um, I want to share with you our approach uh, that we just announced today to this idea of curbside pickup. Uh, we talked a lot about this and struggled with what the right response was there. Keeping our people safe, just like all of you, is paramount, right? For you and your people, same with us. Um, but on the same token, it just didn't feel right to us to lock our doors and lock you out. Um, that didn't seem the way we wanted to treat you. That didn't feel right to us. Um, so when we reviewed it, talked a lot internally with the people up and down the line from the counter guys, drivers, everybody, we came up with kind of a modified approach that felt right for us. Um, you're seeing supermarkets remain open and hardware stores remain open and we felt we should do the same. So what we're doing is you might walk into our counters and see kind of like a setup there where we're putting some tables around to kind of give you some space without having you roam through the halls. Um, that felt right to us. We're still trying to figure out how that looks, but for now, you won't see us locking our doors. We'd love to have you use the online store and pick up your orders just because that's maximum efficiency, but that's no different than normal. Please use the online store if you, if you haven't already. Um, but on the same token, if you can call in advance, fine. If you want to come into our counters, we'd love to see you. So you're important to us. Uh, we're not here doing what we're doing without you. And it felt right to us, and every company is allowed to do it the way that makes sense for them. What made sense for us is not to lock our doors, but to be safe. And that's what you'll see us do for today. That could change tomorrow. That wasn't the case, you know, a week ago. So uh, we'll continue to do what we think is in the best interest of our people and you to help you service your customers as we get through these unprecedented times. So I hope you and your families are good. Um, I hope we, I know we will make it through this process and see that other side back to normalcy again. And when we do, I look forward to seeing you all um, and catching up about these crazy times, how we get through them together and how we live on that other side. So take care of yourselves. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.